So I've been getting deeper and deeper into building instruments lately, and one thing I really wanted to try and do was build an electric cello. I didn't think I'd be doing a video on this ever because frankly, I just wasn't sure how this was going to turn out. Uh, so I didn't film any of it, but I did take pictures along the way. Now, I've never held a cello before in my life, and all I had to go on was various measurements and photos taken off the internet. I decided to make the body out of a plain old 2x6 because, again, I wasn't sure how well this was going to go. And I used a piece of leftover red oak flooring for the soundboard. Now, red oak is not a typical instrument building material to use for various reasons, the way the glue doesn't bond well to it, and the uh, deep grains it has, but it, again, this is such an experimental instrument anyway that... I had the material on hand and I just went with it. And I have to say, this thing really did go very smoothly. Like, the measurements I found online made for an awesomely easy blueprint to follow, and the only thing that was actually tricky was carving out the headstock. Going forward, were I to do another one of these, if ever, I'd probably do the headstock in a couple of pieces and I could just glue them together, making the carving and shaping process a whole hell of a lot easier. And I'd probably attach the headstock using a scarf joint, uh, rather than carving the entire neck and headstock out of a single piece of wood, like I did in this, uh, this build. I attached my tailpiece using a hinge, which I thought was pretty witty, personally, and the bottom piece is actually just from a cheap fireplace poker that I, uh, that I cut down. I don't even know where they came from, this fireplace pokers, I think they were like a housewarming gift or something, but I have we have a much better set, and uh, these were in our scrap metal pile. And that's about it. Uh, the only things I didn't handcraft were the electronics, uh, strings and tuning pegs. I started to make those, the tuning pegs, and then I thought, you know, I could just get these offline for like eight bucks. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do that rather than take all the time to try to carve these little things. Anyway, at the end of the day, this thing actually plays really, really nicely. Like, I'm not trying to toot my own horn too much here, but damn, I'm just impressed with myself on this one. And I think it's okay to beat, because the neck on this thing is incredibly comfortable to play. Again, I've never held a cello before, so I'm not sure what they're technically supposed to feel like. But I've been a musician for well over a decade, and so I have a good idea what a decent instrument should feel like, I think. <laughs> and, uh, for a completely impromptu homemade cello from a 2x6, I just, this thing's pretty damn good. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Uh, maybe pop on over to my Lord of the Rings cover to hear how it sounds. I was very inspired by the piano guys, so check out their Lord of the Rings cover as well. Uh, which is infinitely better than mine. <laughs> That's not even a contest. Uh, but hey, I tried, and I had fun in doing so.